Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the Mighty Hoops I have. But first, I want to mention that on AJBlanks.com, um, which is my embroidery and sublimation blanks company, we have a long sleeve sale going on. So all our long sleeve shirts are on sale until they sell out. We will not be restocking until like fallish time. So I would go ahead and check that out. Go get some long sleeves and stock up for the rest of the cold months. I don't know. It's it's weird. The weather out here is weird. But I just wanted to mention that real quick. So yeah, a lot of you guys asked me about Mighty Hoops, what size I use, what I use for what, my most popular sizes. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video showing you guys all the Mighty Hoops I have and what they can be used for, what I use them for. Um, I want to also mention that if you want to order some Mighty Hoops, you can get free shipping if you call them and use the code Kids Customs. Yes, you have to <laughs> you have to call, but it's fine. So I'll go ahead and put the number right here for you to call them, and I'll also put it in the description for you. And that is for the U.S. free shipping in the U.S. Um, so yes, let's just go ahead and get right into the hoops and what I have. Um, for those who don't know, Mighty Hoop, they're magnetic hoops. So if you do have a pacemaker, I do not recommend using them because they are very strong magnets. Um, they can be used on multi-needle machines as well as like the Baby Lock, um, Alliance or the Brother Persona, the one needle, but it's not a flatbed. These cannot be used on like P800, any flat machines. They can only be used on machines such as these. Um, machines where you have a uh, hoop arm, a freestanding hoop arm. So I just wanted to go ahead and mention that because I know you guys will ask that. Reasons why I like Mighty Hoops are because they're so much easier to hoop than your standard hoops. Standard hoops are kind of like these. Um, they're not they're not fun to hoop with. Um, there's also a bunch of different sizes, but I only use Mighty Hoops. This is the only non-Mighty Hoop I use, <laughs> but besides that, everything else is Mighty Hoops. Mighty Hoop also helps with hoop burn. Hoop burn is like when you like hoop something you normally would see it on black or like colored shirts. There's like a ring around where you hooped, um, and that is hoop burn. And Mighty Hoop helps with it. Um, you still will get some hoop burn, but literally you can spray it with water. Usually when I heat press it, the hoop burn comes out. Um, but that is normal in case you were like, oh my god, what's this mark? I don't know what it is. So that's what it is. So I do have quite a bit of hoops as you can see behind me and we can start with the bigger hoops. So the biggest <laughs> hoop is, I'm looking for the size, they say the size on them. This is the 10 by 19 inch Mighty Hoop. So 19 inches wide, 10 inches tall, it's upside down. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, it's upside down, here it is. <laughs> so this can be used for like jacket backs. You guys have probably seen me make that one sweatshirt that says mama like a 3XL, um, I like this. Or you can also use it for like Carhartt jackets. That's another perk of Mighty Hoops because the magnets are so strong, it's way easier to hoop thicker things and it's more stable that way. And again, they're easy to hoop. So um, 10 by 19, so jacket backs, car mats, um, it's anything that's super thick. A lot of people do like horse, those things that go on horses, saddles, um, stuff like that. You could do blankets with this. This is very, very, very big. Again, you need to make sure you figure out what specifications your machine has because there are a maximum. You can't get every single hoop for every machine. Um, like the Brother, I can't use this on a Brother machine. This is bigger than the sewing field. On the Melco, I can use these if I get the extended hoop arms. Um, so yeah, it's the big. The next one is a 12 by 15. So this one is oh, longer, whatever, <laughs> than the previous, but this can also be used for sweatshirts, jacket backs, adults, um, blankets, and literally anything, but I use this more, mainly for hoodies. Um, both of these, this is more for like a 3XL, but this I can use for pretty much all adult stuff. Obviously, I wouldn't use this on a small because it's a little bit big. Um, but different sizes require different types of hoops. Then I have two. Don't get my fingers stuck. Gotta be careful with these things. Two of the 13 by 11. I think it's 13 by 11. Oh, the back doesn't say anything on this. 11 by 13. Um, this I use very often. So like a girl's size 14 shirt, adult shirts. Um, usually if I'm doing like a double digit embroidered shirt, 
Um, I do birthday shirts if you, if you don't know. It's your first video you've ever watched. So like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then like the basketball, unicorn, whatever it is, I will use the 11 by 13. Like I said, this is also good for adult shirts as well. This one is more lightweight. It's more lightweight than this one. Um, I don't know why it's blue. They have some blues you can see behind me, but to me, this is more lightweight than the 12 by 15. But I use this. This is my third most popular used uh, Mighty Hoop. But adult stuff, shirts. All right, then is my next most popular, the 8 by 9 Mighty Hoop. I use this every, 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 every single day. This is my go-to for kids' shirts. So anything 18 month, I even do it some 14s, but 18 month all the way, let's say, until 10. This is the best size. I use this on all my machines. Ooh. So this is the Brother Baby Lock version, and this is the Melco, because I have both machines. You can tell the difference by the hoop arms. The Brothers have these type of hoop arms, and this Melco's all look like this. They're a lot shorter with the little thingy thingy right there. So just want to mention that. You cannot use the same hoop for different machines. So like I can't put this on a brother. It has to be this one because there's different hoop arms because machines are different sizes. So if you have eight by nine mighty hoop, you would have to get new brackets for the specific machine you have. And I have four of the eight by nine mighty hoops. And then we have two of the 7.25 inch Mighty Hoops. These I use for onesies. Um, that's pretty much all I really use it for. So like 12 to 18, or I also use 12 month shirts on here. You can also do 18 month shirts on here. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the eight by nine, but it's still bigger than like a normal like five by seven hoop. So that's why I really like this size. Um, it's, it just gives you more space. So I use this for onesies, I think three to six months um, till 12 to 18, a 12 month shirt or a um, 18 month shirt. Men is the ever so popular, ever. This is like, if you do adult stuff logos, this, this is your go-to. I have four of them, I need more. I need another eight by nine party hoop for the new Malco. I, I can never get have enough of these. These are the five and a half inch Mighty Hoops. These are what you need if you're going to be doing any type of logos, left chest logos, just want to do names on the left chest, anything. This is the hoop you need. This goes with ooh, this, and this is the hooping station. Um, I use this every single time I do an adult left chest logo because it gives you perfect placement every single time. All right, and the... The next hoop I have is the 4.25 inch Mighty Hoops. And I use these for beanies. Um, you can use it for anything else. That's just what I, what I use it for. They're, they fit in smaller places. I like to have like every size because some hoops will be too small but too big for certain jobs. So having a variety of sizes definitely helps. But in my business and what I do, this is straight beanies for me. Um, I don't do logos with these. I have the five and a half inch for that but these fit perfectly in some beanies. Um, so yeah. These would all also probably fit in baby hats. I forgot, baby hats as well. All right. Then we have the 4.357 inch round Mighty Hoop. Um, it's a similar size to the rectangle one I just showed you, but this one, it's a circle obviously, so it fits in different items. You can try this for like, uh, some sleeves, um, but for sleeves it'd have to be like a bigger size. I originally got this for sleeves, but it didn't fit for me, unfortunately. They have a smaller one. I wish they got a smaller one because I need like a three, three inch one. I think that's the other hoop I have over there that's three inch, but um, there's a circle one if you, if you need a circle. One. I would say this could come in handy, like if you're doing arched font, because then you'd be able to see like if it's a perfect arch. I think that would be good use for this okay next is the 4.25 inch by 13 inch mighty hoop now there's two different ones there's a 13 by 4.25 and a 13 by 4.25 so one is this way horizontal and this one's the vertical one um this is great for sleeves like 
full sleeves um sweatshirts and then like pants if you want to like embroider who my legs not tall enough embroider right there <laughs> then um this is perfect for that because it gives you 13 inches um so just want to mention that this is pretty good for that you can also try the baby gowns on this Because this is the other one that you can try baby gowns with. And this is the 8.875 by 5 and the quarter inch 5.25 Mighty Hoop. So like baby gowns, um, way easier in this. So, yes. Additional add-ons that I get with my Mighty Hoop, which you can kind of see over there, are the backing holders. So these, these are for like the odd shaped ones I just showed you, <laughs> the sleeves and then the bodysuit, the, the gowns and then circle one. What this does is it holds the stabilizer in place so you can easily hoop items. I love these things, so I'm gonna use, you guys can use them all the time. So best invention ever. I have them for these, but then I also have them over there for all the other sizes that I offer. You see them over there. Oh yes, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you would like more videos and leave any comments that you have down below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.